Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as Lithanar going up against Malekith, where we just straight up don't have enough ammunition to, to kill them all. They are sending so much force at us. Uh, they've got... Let's see, uh, it's four armies, but it's a little bit more than two full stacks, essentially. We've got Helebron coming in here as well, and she tends to have loads of missile resistance. So that's great. At least she's not in the Manticore, that's going to help. Um... Yeah, just tons and tons of force coming at us. Now, Shadow Warriors are really good, but one thing that they struggle with is dealing with tons of enemies because they just run out of ammunition. And then, once they've used up about half of their ammo, it's really difficult for them to inflict the army losses because every shot after that kind of can't really dish out enough damage to be worth it. Um, which is why it's really important that you take on fair fights, essentially, and always be the attacker and lightning strike and ambush attack. But you do have an eagle here, and that actually might be our her saving grace. Now, I'm not talking necessarily about swooping. Uh, well, maybe I am. We'll see. We've also got a settlement garrison here that is basically worthless. But let's see what we can do. We definitely need to not control Arch Army. Dealing with all of their forces all at once will make this absolutely impossible. But yeah, this isn't the kind of battle that you can just... At the very start of it, just use up all of your ammunition on the first few things you see, and then just be like, oh, well, I do, I do I'm not going to win, <laughs> just sort of thing. Every single shot needs to be precise and aim at the exact right unit. So shooting at things like dark uh, dread spears, bad idea. Anything with a shield, we kind of want to avoid shooting. Okay, so Lithanard doesn't stalk to begin. He, he's not stalking at the moment, so I'm actually going to keep him out of this just for now, because... We want to get rid of all their fast units first. Once we get rid of their fast units, we can bring him back out. Make sure nobody's firing at will. Um, and another problem with uh, Shadow Walkers. Um, they're one of the strongest auto-resolve units in the game. Which is actually bad. Because they go into battle and underperform compared to what they do in auto-resolve. So it said that we would get a Valiant defeat, right? Um... <laughs> this one here is going to struggle to maintain its value because while it does have higher missile strength, it's got lower entities, so it actually has less ammunition than the Shadow Warriors. But anyway, we'll see what we can do. The first stage... Um, <coughs> excuse me. It should just be mostly melee infantry. But it's a bit of a small map, so we'll see how we go. A lot of obstructions all over the place, but yeah, we'll see. Alright, um... At the moment, all I can see is my eagle. I want to... I want to snipe Malachus, definitely. We're on very hard battle difficulty? Yep. Okay. Right, got an idea. Got an idea. Um, Elithanar. Uh, no, no, no. I was going to bring him out just to maybe do a snipe on Malachus. Alright, good. Hellebron's not regenerating. Hmm. I really wish we weren't caught in Force March. That extra speed would really come in handy. Yeah, getting, getting exhausted right off the bat is really bad. Really, really bad. Okay. Uh, taking out Black Art Corsair Handbows, I think is a good idea. Let's get over here and snipe them. So... Alright, I'm going to do a little bit of a swoop, because I don't really have anything better to do at the moment <laughs> with the eagle. And every little... Oh man, what the hell? Come on. No, doesn't want to swoop properly. Okay, I'll have to pick a different spot. Taking out Hellebron early would be good as well. Okay, let's try to lure some of these units away from them. Because, like I said, we want to... Let's see how we go. Try to lure them over this way. Come on, you sluggish motherfuckers. You've got a job to do over here. Ah, shit. I can't get a good spot now. Okay, I don't want everyone to shoot, but get some of them to start shooting. 
Okay, we really need to take out Hillebron early. Okay, that looks like it's going to go down fairly well there. Make sure nobody dies if possible. Okay, that's all right. That wasn't that wasn't great. That's not really a, an amazing start. But let's let's come over here and try to shoot up Hellebron a little bit. All right, if you can come over here and maybe run it down a little bit. Problem is being caught in force march. All of our units really you really feel the sluggishness of them when they're on force march. She's got a lot of missile resistance, but there's no other way we're going to get rid of her. And since she's out in the open now, we just got to make that shot. Okay, she's going down. She's going down. Okay, she's out of here. Good. That's a good amount of damage. Now let's go back into the woods and hide again. So she did a bit of damage to the Shadow Walkers, but that's okay. All right, they're all stalking again. That's good. All right, we've taken out two years, but we've used up a little bit of ammunition. Taking out Hellebron is a big deal. Now, it'd be really good to get Malachus somehow, but he's staying within his units. So we'll have to figure that out as we go. But yeah, it's just really important that we pick our engagements with care. We do not want to be shooting any shielded units, but the problem here as well is the terrain's not amazing. Um, we want to try to avoid being in the trees. So, using the eagle to lure them over here and then shooting them from the high ground might help. Ugh, even the eagle feels really sluggish. I'm just doomed to eternally get saving disaster battles where people have been caught in force march. <laughs> I, think he, I think he force marched to a city, um, which, you know, makes sense. He wanted to save the city, but if he only just captured it, then who cares? Let the, let the fucking Dark Elves take it back. Too late now, obviously. Alright. So... We also want to get rid of any particularly fast units. Alright. Seems like nobody came in after Hellebron got wounded. Alright, how are we going to go about this now? Yeah, it's going to be difficult to waste the ammunition of Black Art Corsairs, but Dark Shards are easy enough to waste the ammo of. Okay, we can move back out here now a bit. This is a much better place to be shooting from than, than within the trees there. But we really do need to try to make sure that we're um, not fighting their entire army all at once. We want to be getting little ambushes on them. Okay, I'm going to try to go for a swoop. No, I'm not. No, I'd rather not get shot. Really need our eagle to guide them in the in the way that we... Wherever we want them to be, we use the eagle to send them that way. So, we can worry about using the eagle later down... Oh, hang on, here we go. Use the eagle later down the track. Damn it. Well, at least we did some damage pretty much for free, but I wasn't able to swoop. Swooping can be a little bit tricky. Um, didn't get much out of that. But yeah, swooping on a high value unit, like Black Art Corsairs, is good. Cool, got a couple of kills for free there. That's all we can really hope for. Okay. Right, with the Lithanar, let's move him up to here, because I do want to use him. I just don't want him to give away our positions constantly. But maybe what I can do is have him come out in regular intervals so that they send just a couple of units over there. We can take him out a little bit at a time. Just as long as they don't send shielded units, because we don't want to shoot any, like, shit melee units that we could just fight in melee afterwards. Because these guys here aren't terrible in melee. That's not what they're meant for, but still. Okay, so Luthanard come out the top there. He should get discovered, and they'll probably send a couple of units to go fight him. Yep, there they go. They're sending a couple of units. If they could just send...
Corsair units, that would be great because there's a high value. Which is exactly what they're doing. Cool. They're walking towards Alithanar. And they have no idea what's waiting for them there. Meanwhile, we just keep these guys here. Keep them distracted. Okay. Now, it's obviously that we don't want to just offload all of our ammunition on them right away. Oh, shit. Shut up there. I took a little bit of damage. So yeah, they're just moving slowly. Okay. Okay, so all of these units here are good targets because they're all relatively high value. They don't have shields. They do have a fair bit of armor, but... Just gotta deal with it. Alright, don't have the moonbow. Would be good if Malekith could come over here so I can get a shot off on him. Oh, what's going on here? They're backing off a little bit. Okay, move out of the way. Said move out of the way. Come on. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe. Maybe let's move up then and shoot them while we can. Problem is they're getting fairly close to the rest of their units, but they're just walking around at the moment. A lot of their units are on Force March as well, so that helps. Alright, that's a really good place to be shooting with Lithanar because his, his uh, ammunition pierces, so the tighter their formation, the better. Just as long as we don't hit a tree. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, I wouldn't push in any further right now. Alright, they seem to be derping out at the moment. Let's just be cautious. Because like I said, we just don't have enough ammunition to be reckless here. We can't just fire at will and just offload onto them. We've got to deal with twice as, as many troops. I was going to use up all of our ammunition just killing them. So let's bring a couple of these guys up. This is a slaughter or a good target. That's bad if they're in that kind of formation. Okay, put a Lithanar back into the forest there. Because they don't seem to be going after the eagle anymore. This is a slaughter or a really good target because they have no shields. They do have physical resistance, which that's what our guys do, but. So here we go. Okay, now get back. We want to go back into Stork. Might have to shoot them. Even though we only got a tiny little pot shot off, I just don't want to get caught by them because a lot of their units are going to be faster than ours just because we're on Force March. Well, a few of their units are going to be faster than us. Okay, good there. They're okay. Move back. Listen, I was sitting again. Hopefully... Okay, cool. That's working. They're running back again. But this one here is a big problem. I want to be shooting into the, the water there. But this fucking guy here is going to be a problem to shoot at because he's in a weird formation. Also, another thing with uh, Shadow Warriors, it's really good if they're shooting and standing still while they're doing it. Not moving because they just... When they're moving, they tend to all fire at the exact same entity. So they actually fire kind of like crap. Okay, now it's in a good position to shoot. Whereas if they're standing still, they fire at the whole unit for the most part. Also, it would be better if they were a little bit closer. Seems like they're just trying to waste our ammo, which is exactly what they should be doing. So stop it. Just gonna play the mind games with them for now. At least while they're in the water there. Oh, 
god, if they change directions, we're gonna miss. Yeah, while they're in the water, at least they move a little bit slower. Okay, move back. What's this? Okay, move back. Move back. Don't let them get close. Because, yeah, once they get close, we'll never be able to stalk again, and they'll eventually just push us off the map. Okay, good. They forget we exist again. Right? Almost. Gotta be careful here. Everybody's hidden? Yeah. What's going on with the eagle? Why are they not going after it? Unfortunately, the terrain here really sucks. It makes them very inaccurate. With archers, ideally, you just want, like, a flat terrain. Hills are really bad because they just don't predict <laughs> the angles that well. Okay, I think we can sort of lay into this because they're in sort of tight formation. It'd be really good if we can kill Malekith, but I'm not going to swoop down and get him because that eagle will lose. Get me back. Getting shot by Black Art Corsairs there. Really difficult to dodge handbows. Yeah, you can see our shots just don't seem to have much impact at all. Just not really dishing out enough damage. And now we're struggling to um, to hide again. And their units are just as fast as our dudes, and we're about to get into a really big problem here, because we're going to be standing on top of each other. But I really don't want to fire at them, because it'll be a waste of ammunition. But I've also I've got to break them, because otherwise they're going to get us. So standing on top of each other here, I just, I just need these guys here to break, so I can go back into hiding. Could you not get shot by that fucking black heart called Sir Hambo? Okay, that's good. They're all just about to break. Okay, stop firing. Stop it. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, that, that shattered. Everyone stop. Stop, stop, stop. If they're broken good enough, go back into hiding. Just let it go. Okay, they've forgotten about us. Alright, let's focus on the eagle. Bring them back around over here. They'll start bringing in some more reinforcements. Shit. Fucking unit came back. Yeah, we definitely don't want to be shooting into shattered units. Fucking hell, this eagle is so sluggish because you're on forced march. Okay, get out of this um, control group here. Just got to get around over here. Okay, and good, they're running back now. That's good. Okay, we can move forward again. Alright, we got rid of a few units there. Um, wasn't the best. Wasn't the best, but we're just making do with what we got here. At least none of our guys died. And we didn't shoot into shielded units. And every unit that we were taking out there was high value. Okay, let's once again... Get some guys into position and try to hit the stragglers at the rear. I think the top priority would really be getting rid of those Black Art Corsair Hambos because I just have such a hard time dodging them. Okay. And this high ground here looks good, but they keep sending one dude over this way. Well then, that's what I'll shoot at. What is this? Is this is a slaughter? Okay, that's a good one to shoot. Alright, so what they just bring in there? Black Art Corsairs? Okay. Also, if we do a really good job in the early stages of the battle, we, we might inflict the army losses, which would be good, obviously. Okay, just a few extra shots should do it. I'd run after them, but uh, I can't catch it while we're exhausted like this. Maybe, maybe the eagle if it comes... No, 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 I need the eagle to be keep distracting them. Okay. Alright, actually, let's get over there, because if I swoop on it, it'll probably just break it straight away. I still really want to get to Malekith. Being able to break these guys even just a little bit earlier will make a big difference here. 
Because any unit that we can run off the battlefield without needing to kill is going to save us a little bit of ammunition. And every single arrow is going to count here. Now, unfortunately, they're going to fight to the death. It will be done. Okay. So, we got two heroes there. Two lords. Um, I'd love it if Malekith would just, like, overcast something and kill himself. But that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So let's bring let's bring Elithanar back out over here again and see if we can just lure some more units over. Because that worked alright the first time, but then they just didn't really take the bait properly. Okay, they can see him, and they'll probably send some units over here. Okay, I think they're sending too much over here now. Good, bit of the old swoop. Yeah, see, if we can kill Malekith, it would only have one leadership left. Okay, send those Black Art Corsairs over there. They can see Lithanar. Hopefully they go for it. Every bit of damage counts, so every successful swoop is just a bit of extra free damage. We don't need to do it too much. You know, this isn't going to be like that Warriors of Chaos battle from my live stream. <laughs> it's a three and a half hour long battle. But we do need to do it a little bit, I think. Okay, good. These are two good units coming over here that are probably going to get killed. We just need to keep these guys distracting. Oh god, there are the... Um I can't cause hairs. I just I can't fly over their heads. Unfortunately, we just keep getting shot as well. It shall be done. So what's that? Okay. Yeah, if I fly back over around this way. I'm just going to get shot to shit. Alright, let's move forward. I really want to get rid of those Black Art Corsair handbows. Need to make sure this guy... What are you doing? Okay, they're move, moving back a little bit. Okay. What, what are they doing? I don't have them on fire at will or anything. They keep wasting their ammo shooting at dead units. Okay, and yeah, go for the Black Art Corsair handbows. If we can get rid of all of them, then this one here can fly without being disturbed. Good amount of damage there. Can't do that for long, though. Okay, go back into hiding. And Alithana, you go back into hiding as well. Want them to back off. Okay, we can waste the ammunition of those Dark Shards. Because because they've got longer range, it's easier to dodge them. Got rid of that black art course there. All right. All right. I'm gonna try and make an attempt to get around over here. It's gonna be tricky because I got the edge of the map here. But we made it for the most part. Okay, that's good. Yeah, if it wasn't for this eagle, this battle would be absolutely impossible. It's already done such a good job for us. Even though it hasn't got loads of kills, just being able to distract it so that we just don't have to deal with the entirety of their force all at once. We need to make sure we take zero casualties as much as possible on these guys. Okay, let's not come back out again. Oops. Didn't mean to slip all them. It's okay, no harm done. 
Alright, yep, and to just lure a couple of units over here. Just keep taking them out a little bit at a time. I think we're doing okay so far, because we've wiped out about three or four units. I know I'm being overly cautious right now, but we really do need to be, just because the, the margins are so low here. He really got caught with his pants down. Bounce of power is probably in our favor. But they just have so much more reserves than we do. That's why I keep hearing high off music. But as we start using up our ammo, it's going to start shifting over the dark elf music. Okay, that unit is as good as dead. Stop shooting at it. So far, so good. Alright, so there's a Dread Spear. We do not want to shoot that. That is a waste of ammunition. Alright, so stop there. Okay, listen up. Go back into hiding. Alright, let's move these guys out because they've used up a lot of their ammo if we start using up more of it uh, it's going to hurt more bouncer power wise than if we use these ones so try to use up their ammunition a little bit at a time i don't usually do this but we kind of need to in this time this time we're probably going to have to use up all of their ammo in order to win but we'll just see how we go all right Alright, let's not come back out again. Again, just keep lure them back over here a little bit at a time. It's actually very useful that he's not stalking. Although, if he was stalking, I'd go and try and snipe Malekith. Unfortunately, I just can't swoop at single entities very well. Alright, I do not want to waste any ammunition on units that are basically dead. For one thing, it's going to make us inaccurate. And another thing is that... Um, well, that's good enough, actually. That's a waste of ammo. They're not worth much bounce of power. You can just swoop them to get rid of them. But i got to get rid of Malekith. He just isn't leaving himself vulnerable. Well, actually, why don't... Oh, listen, now, you come over here. Because I can always use this. Okay, he's, he's got the 50% extra damage, or less damage with it. We just need one or two shots on Malekith to knock him out. So I'm just going to go for it with with uh, Alithanar. Oh my god, these guys got in his way. Come on, move out. Move out of the way. Shoot him. <laughs> Come on, get him. Oh, that doesn't do a lot of damage. At least we got him. Come on. Give us another shot. Shit. Might have to just... Take what we can get there. Send that one in. And move the Lithanar back. And we'll hope for another opportunity to get him later. Get out of there, get out of there. Don't want to shoot with this right now. Okay, you start moving around the back again. It'd be pretty funny if the doppelganger actually gets him. Where is he? Yeah, it doesn't do much damage, but it's better than nothing. And... Okay, okay, just, just move back. Don't shoot into this because they're all concentrated. They'll just rush at us. Okay, go and hide again. Okay, we didn't get a, uh, to Malakas, did we? Hang on, let me look here. Oh, we got him! We got him! The doppelganger actually did it. Okay, Malekith is down. Good, and that causes these other guys over here to rout. Good, good, good. That's, that'll save us a fair bit of ammunition. Maybe I should have done that earlier on, but... 
What's this? I can't Corsair. Okay. Alright. Um, Elton and I, you come back over here. Once again, just see if we can lure some units over here. Alright, so we've got a single unit of Sisters of Slaughter. Okay. Wait until this one gets really close, because it's just one unit. The closer it gets, the more accurate we're going to be. Because it'll go down relatively quickly. Well, don't worry about swooping just yet. Alright. Should be able to take that out pretty quickly. There we go. That's what we want to see. One more volley and then stop shooting at it. It should break. Okay, one more. Okay, no, nope, no, nope. there we go. Good. Two volleys to take out that unit. That's a high value unit as well. Cool, that's working. And then if you want to send another unit at me, that would be good. Just one would be nice. I still really want to get rid of the Blackheart Corsairs, but I'm in no control about which units they send over here first. Okay, they're sending too many units over here. So, put a Lithanar back into the forest. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, come back out here. Okay, they keep sending more ones. Yeah, we don't want to be shooting Dread Spears. We can fight them in melee if we absolutely have to. Okay, I might actually be able to handle this. Make sure we're ready to really lay into them. Because it's all good units in here, and they're all clumped up. So, relative inaccuracy is not going to be that big of a deal. See how this goes. Ah, don't dodge my shots, how do you? Okay, now's not a good time to be shooting. Let's get out of here. This is, this is a bad time. The uh, Modus Prowess just activated, so I'm gonna stay away from that. Got me back. Okay, there's only melee units over here. So let's do some swooping. Oh, no, I'm wrong. There's actually... There's a missile unit over here. But at least once the murderous prowess is completely spent, they didn't really get any good use out of it. Which is really important. If you're in a big melee and that happens, that's like the worst thing that you can that can happen to you while you're fighting Dark Elves, because that really increases their stats by heaps. Okay, feel free to come back out. Yep, Modus Prowess over. Nice. That's it, just send a couple of units over here. Nice. Yeah, we can handle this. Two units of Black Art Corsairs, nice. Okay. Let's take him out. Good clump up. That's what we want to see. Okay. Stop. I'll show them. Striking forth. We will obey. It will be done. Okay, now so I got a fair few coming at us. But we should still be able to handle it. I mean, they've split their forces in half. Really need this eagle to remain on the battlefield until the enemy artillery come in, because we could definitely use that to waste enemy ammo. 
All right, we're really going to offload onto these. Everybody aim for specific targets. Yeah, which elves are good targets? Good, another Black Art Corsair handbow gone. Dread Spear. No, we don't want to shoot that. Nobody shoot at that. It's a waste of ammo. Okay, and... Move back. Everyone stop firing. Move back. Oh, I think they did take a shot at the Dread Spear. I would go into melee with them, but we want to be going into melee with them after we've used up all of our ammo. That way we're not losing any ammo by going into melee with them. Then again, Lithanars can pierce shields. Oh, no, I, might, I might have to be a break. What's this? Dark shards. Okay, that's, that's easy enough to dodge. Okay, if we're shooting into their backs, that's a different story. Let's just hope they don't get any kills on us. Good, no kills. And that way... We do some damage to them without actually spending any ammo. Because, yeah, it's a shit unit to shoot at. That'd be a good unit to shoot at. Okay, I think this is getting there. Okay, so I guess the melee infantry reinforcements are just about expired. Alright, I really want to come over here and get rid of that Black Art Corsair. Shooting it in the back should be good. And if you guys want to keep running that down, that's fine, because otherwise it'll just rally. And they don't seem to care. Good, nice and clumped up there. Help increase our overall accuracy. As long as we're hitting something. As long as that something isn't actually a shit target. Oh, fuck, he actually rallied. Yeah, that wasn't great. Well, still none of them died. This one here got no kills. Did a little bit of damage to us, but that's okay. Damage doesn't reduce our ammunition. Okay, it's shattered. Good as dead. Okay, get back over here. Elithanar, just just wait there. Alright, let's get reorganized. Alright, this one here is below half ammo now. Alright, we got a lot of dark shards on the battlefield. Um, if we really want to be efficient, we do need to waste its ammo, which I really don't want to do. These dark shards with shields, yeah. Because shooting at them. Oh, god damn it. There's loads of them over here now. Shit. Yeah. Just thinking do I want to shoot them or do I waste their ammo? Because going into melee with Dark Shards with shields is pretty easy for um, Shadow Warriors. But obviously, even just taking one volley to the face will really hurt. Alright, let's move back down over here. Keep luring them over here. Yeah, got to be careful now. There's a lot of missile units. It's going to make it difficult to swoop. Alright, we really shouldn't be going after their heroes. It'll make it really difficult to bloody hit them. Okay, let's get... Let's get a listen. I might just have to shoot at the... The Dark Shards. Which sucks. I don't want to be shooting into shields, but I just don't think I've got much of a choice. What's this? Alright, Bleak Swords is another shit one to shoot at. Shadow 
But I might just have to do it. And then there's... Okay, you might be okay at shooting it there. Because isn't there, like, one or two monsters coming as well? Okay, we got the... Mm, majority of their attention. Alright, shoot at the bleak swords. Oh, God. Oh, they kind of turned around at the last second there, so we actually didn't shoot into their shields. Nice. Okay, yeah, just come over here. Lure them away. Doing some damage to the Lord as well. Cool. And that way, if it misses, we hit other units. Okay, that bleak sword is out of here. Good. Well, killing another Lord wouldn't be bad. And it's isolated, and from this distance here, we should be relatively accurate. But yeah, we are starting to run low on ammo. Okay, stop. Oh. Okay, that's a bit of a problem. If Elithanar shoots it, and okay, yeah, now's the best time to shoot it, and knocks it on the ground, you can't shoot it. Okay, we just use up a lot of ammo. Cool, we just bypass a little bit of shield. Hopefully, it shatters or dies, whichever comes first. Elithanar, you need to go back and hide. Okay, it's not going to come back in any sort of meaningful way there, but we did just have a few guys run out of ammo, so that's not good. Alright, these guys here have the most amount of ammo left. Alright, uh, more dark shards over here. Fucking great. Alright, dark shards with shields, I'll take it. Oh, I don't want it to fire back, though. Okay, back off. No one died yet, so that's good. Ah, crap. It's bloody all missile units now. It's going to make it really difficult to get around here. So yeah, if they have any kind of like... I didn't actually... I can't remember. If they've got a manticore, we need to make sure that we've got enough ammunition to take that out. I'm fairly sure they've got one. I just can't remember. Because we can take it out really easily as long as we've got some ammo. Alright, I think if we want to get around them, I'll actually have to go wide around this way. Because if I go that way, I'm just going to get caught. Uh, we can get a little pot shot off. Is there a nice tight formation there? That's how I like it. That way, if we miss our initial target, we hit somebody. Okay, now, um, now back off. Back off. Okay, let's begin luring the- oh shit, got shot a lot there. That's not good. Okay. Are our guys hidden? No, you gotta get back further. Likely they're not moving that fast. Okay, listen, I'll make sure you really don't get discovered there. We need to make sure we hold this position here, because it's our best place to shoot them. What's this? Oh, that's bad. That's... that's gonna kill our eagle for sure. Uh, that's gonna be... how fast are they? Can't see its unit card from here. Mm, it looks like it's on force march as well. Okay, artillery has come onto the battlefield. So that indicates we're at the back end of the battle. Okay, so it wasn't a manticore that they had. It was the Raven's Herald. Okay, so let's move back up over here. Alright, so if this is all that they've got left, I think we're fairly close to inflicting the army losses. We just need to be very careful. 
Because every casualty we take is going to make it harder and harder to get the army losses. And going into melee with this is going to be a bloody nightmare. Alright, Elithana, you come back out over here. Shadow warriors. If I can get the Raven's Herald. Actually, just, just hang on a little bit longer. If I can get rid of that, this guy will have a little bit more life left to him. Could shoot them in the back. You know what? I'm at the point where I think we should just just shoot. Let's just see what we can do. If we run out of ammunition, we can fight them in melee, kind of. And let's just see what we can do before the artillery get over here. Let's um, let's just see what we can do. Because we're, we're not completely out of ammo. Or particularly low. But we might just inflict the armor losses, because we've been really efficient up until now, more, more or less. Not every shot's landed a hit. Okay, you back off. And let's just see what we can do. Okay, I need to get this guy out in front. Just hold them back a little bit. Okay, we got the Raven's Herald coming in. Good, they take they go down so quickly. They are not a good skirmish unit, but they're good at taking out flyers. And that one's gone. Okay, good. None of my guys are on fire at will for a reason. We need to make sure our shots are as well placed as possible so no shooting at shit targets Forward. we will obey without fail it will be done I'll leave one now. Okay, move back a little bit we don't want to get shot by dark shards immediately acknowledge to battle don't worry about the dread spear Don't worry about this one either. Understood. Acknowledge. We will obey. Okay, listen up. You just hold it back for a little bit. Okay, things are getting a little bit messy. Kind of feeling like we should... Okay, hang on. Fire at will. Because, yeah, things are getting messy now. Okay, let's now move back a little bit. Loyal. We will obey. Assyrian guides us. Understood. Alright, I'm gonna have the eagle go around the back, try to get at that uh oh, God, I'm gonna go around really wide, but we'll see how that goes. With me. Understood. Battle awaits. We go. Without fail. Assyrian. There's not that many of them left. We've still got a bit of ammo remaining. Of course, we can still fight in melee a bit. Notice that it started playing Dark Elf music. Stop it. Give me some hope. But at least all their melee units are gone now. More for the most part. So if we have to go into melee with Dark Shards, we can do it. Most of our ammo is used up. Wait, is that another piece of artillery? No. Shadow warriors. To battle. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to go into melee with these. Just be careful because of the uh, fucking Reaper bolt throwers. You guys try to run ahead there and get at them. Alright, you just hold on to that last little bit of ammo you've got. I'm going in. 
Because we don't have enough ammunition left, but we just want to save that last little bit of ammo for whatever might be coming. Oh god, watch out for, for that. Yeah, we need to avoid big clumps. Oh shit, watch out. Until those uh, Reaper bot throwers are dealt with. Luckily, that one there is probably shooting its own troops a bit. Lethanar, try and keep them pinned down until we get there. Because our guys should be able to catch up to them. Yeah, should be able to. This one here, that's a kind of just a waste of time. Watch out, Eagle, watch out. Okay, catching up to the Dark Shards here, almost up to the Reaper Bolt Thrower. Just try to push right through them. Because we just don't want them shooting at us. Alright, you guys move forward. I think with the last little bit of our ammo here, let's shoot this dickhead. Oh shit, here comes artillery. Without fail. Shadow warriors. But if we go into melee with them, they'll hit their own troops as well. It's just dark shards there. It will be done. It shall be done. Black oil. Okay, you lot shoot him. We advance. I think that's a pretty good use of that last little shot that we got left. Okay, that one's gone. Get over here. Oh, still no army losses. Okay, get these ones back. Oh, there we go. We got the army losses. Fuck me. What a pain in the ass that is. Holy shit. And the great thing about doing it this way as well is that you've got pretty minimal damage. Oh, look, I had one shot left. So your army is in good enough shape to keep fighting. But yeah, it's a pain in the ass fighting that way. So, not even 10% casualties. The eagle was absolutely critical there. Couldn't have won this without it. Sniping Malekith in the sort of midway through the battle was good. And all of the Shadow Warriors got shitloads of kills. That one doing the worst, essentially. But yeah. This is really just another classic example of always be the attacker. Stop getting attacked as the high elves. You want to be the attacker. <laughs> or else you just end up in a really friggin' long fight. I mean, that's what happened to me in that Warriors of Chaos three hour, three and a half hour long bloody uh, swoop fest. But hey, I won that one. <laughs> they shall earn their freedom. Just don't talk to me about Lord Masters of Poets. Ugh. Well, I'm glad I got replenishment. So you weren't even sitting inside the settlement. You just being stupidly reckless. Eh, well, we got through it, so that's all right. Yours is a short spell. Let's have a look at how the rest of the campaign's going. Yeah, I usually don't want to do any like military alliance diplomacies because I don't know what he's got planned. Um, you know, if I'm just doing a disaster battle, I'm sure the rest of the campaign seems like it's going fine. It's only turned fifty-four and. Yeah, you're doing fine. You've taken out Marathi. You're not at war with Hexal Idol, so that helps. Friendly with them. Yeah, you're making progress. It's looking good. And you're friendly with all the Hyles. That's good. Alright, cool. Alright, well, that's the end of this one here. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Um, that was... I think we did okay in that battle, but, you know, had to really cheese it as much as possible. But anyway, that's the end of this one. Appreciate you guys, and I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.